Hi everyone, I wanna start by thanking you comments on my previous video. You asked me to share some prompts for V6, so, this video is about it. Case 2, text and prompts with V6, level, basic, rule applied, the order matters, don't forget to check my links in the description and enjoy. Important tip, keep in mind the order. One crucial thing to keep in mind when working with prompts, is that the order in which you place the tokens significantly, impacts the results. The initial words you use set the tone and direction for the final outcome. As you move further away from the subject, the words look like to have less influence. So, when it comes to adding a phrase to your design, I like to give it top priority, I want it to stand out. In my experience, I like placing it as the first token. It seems that the phrase gets the emphasis it deserves. Now, let's take a look at some example prompts to illustrate this point. We'll explore various styles, including one, watercolor illustration. This is a hybrid medium prompt that I wanted to try in the 5.2 style. Perhaps many tokens are no longer interpreted by V6 as V5 does. The important thing is that I like to highlight the phrase, that's why I put it at the beginning. 2. Vector design in 3D style. I like the result with vectors in V6 more than in V5.2. They look like handmade vintage drawings. 3. Flat vector design in 2D style mixed with watercolor. Although at the moment V6 seems oriented towards smart text, it allows you to mix some media such as 2D vectors in watercolor. I really like the result. 4. Realistic illustrations. As I use it, I understand that this model is super smart and generates intelligent texts. According to the words in your phrase, it selects the typography and even the illustration. 6. If I'm considering giving prominence to the graphics, my approach will be to first focus on the subject, its medium and styles. Only after that, I'll add the text. I might even experiment with style raw for some truly peculiar and unique results. But you know what has impressed me the most? The typography itself. In V6, it not only recognizes the word, but also its cultural significance and gives it a medium and style. For instance, Dracula, the model recognizes that it's a gothic concept related to vampires, and when it writes it, the typography becomes gothic. Even if you experiment with mediums, watercolor, or digital art style, you'll notice that the model can automatically add allegorical illustrations to the text. It's amazing, and it seems that, just like the graphics, the text also benefits from having a defined medium. As I continue to trying with V6, I'll be sharing any new and exciting results with you. I'm a top seller and prompt engineer. I invite you all to subscribe to my channel to stay in the loop and support my work. Thank you so much.